Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm someone who really does fan art and decided to make some fan art by trying the style challenge that's been going around for my favorite series. I've used one of the many characters from my manga for this challenge. His name is Seether Osper. I'll be making a video about him soon. I wanted to show how much he has evolved since my first time drawing him till now and talk more in depth about who he is without spoiling anything in the manga. The first style is Studio Ghibli. I grew up with these movies and always loved how the backgrounds were. And knowing the fact that they were hand drawn and painted is amazing. I've recently been drawing backgrounds more in my new sketchbook instead of just doing them for my comic and manga. Seeing screenshots from a Ghibli film inspires me to draw and I'm surprised I never tried to do a redraw of those backgrounds. I've seen a few around Instagram and on YouTube so I should try them too. I can use the lore from my manga to inspire me to make my own. While I was drawing this, I tried to challenge myself by not sketching a base. Since I've been practicing figure drawings, I tend to sketch the guidelines out to make sure everything fits in place, which slows me down a lot and makes me, it makes me finalize my lines to where the pose can look stiff in the end. So I tried just doing the basic shapes and got this one done in about 10 minutes. The next style is Gravity Falls, and this was the easiest to draw. It took me about two minutes to sketch. This is the last American cartoon show I have watched that I truly enjoyed. After this, I haven't watched any new series that has came out since the show ended. I've just been watching anime. Anime has spoiled me now because I love long story arcs and the unique characters and action, and I haven't been seeing that in any American cartoons lately. Most are just one-time shorts and gags. Maybe I'll give a newer show a chance eventually. The third style is Disney. You may be looking at it and saying, this looks nothing like Disney. That's because I chose a movie not too many might have seen, and it still surprised me that this movie was a box office bum. Treasure Planet is my number one favorite film since it came out. It knocked Mulan to second place and Lion King to third. I love it not just because of the characters, but because of the world that was created for it. I love pirates and I love space and those two mixed together was just a masterpiece to me. There were plans for a second film but I'm glad it didn't get created. I love how this movie ended and I don't want it to end up as a cash grab like the other Disney films have become. Don't get me wrong, some sequels were great and some were okay but some films should just be left as one. I would be shocked if Disney made this into a live action film since the film bombed at the box office. The fourth style is from the animated band Gorillaz. My favorite song from them is Feel Good Ink. Their style always stood out to me when I was growing up. It did creep me out when I was little because of their eyes, but I've grown to love it. They came out with some new songs a few months ago and there was a surge of new fan art from it as well. This drawing was quick to sketch as well. I tried getting close to the style as possible. The shading was harder though because I'm used to shading my way. The fifth style is mine. This is what Seether currently looks like in my manga I'm making. I simplified his hair a lot since the last video I posted of him about a year ago. It's time I did an update on his redesign and go more into depth about who he is and the world he lives in. I should do that with all my characters since I'm bad at not finishing the character sheets. I already know what he looks like in my head since I've been drawing him for years, but this is a good way to get others who are interested in my stories a quick look into who they are. I'm really glad how my story is coming along so far. I finished 32 chapters so far and I feel like I'm just not entering the first main story arc. I'm uploading the page process as I draw them if anyone is interested. There is a playlist if anyone is interested in watching them and more character art can be found on my Instagram if anyone is interested. The link will be below. The sixth style is My Hero Academia. I haven't seen the new season yet and everyone is talking about Endeavor's redemption arc. No spoiler please, I'll watch it after I finish this. I decided to give him a cocky attitude in this one since I tend to draw him calm, but he actually is a hothead who believes his way is the right way. And he hates to be beaten or in debt to anyone. This expression was fun to do and now I want to do a page of just expression studies. I also need to do different mouth styles as well. I want my characters personalities to shine through when I draw them. Out of all of them, this is my favorite. The seventh style challenge is from Fire Force. This series is from the creator of Soul Eater. I really didn't like Soul Eater that much, but I love Fire Force. 
The animation in the show is just perfect to me. The way the anime was done was perfect and I'm excited for season 2. After season 1 ended, I went straight to the manga because I needed more. This is what I mean about being spoiled by anime. Every new series coming out now has an amazing story and characters, each with their own special attacks and skills. And when the new season ends, you can just go straight to the manga and read ahead until the next season is announced. I haven't animated in a while and this makes me want to do fan animations. I don't know why I just won't start one. I know animating anything takes a long time so I could start off with just a kick. If you haven't seen Fire Force, you should. This one anime I will recommend to anyone. I think I got close to the style and this is my second favorite out of the eight. The eighth style is from the Zelda series. I'm one of those people that haven't played a Zelda game until the 3DS era. So my first Zelda game was Ocarina of Time and then Breath of the Wild. I bought the art book for Breath of the Wild and really couldn't look through it because I didn't have the game yet and I could and did spoil some of the game for myself. I've been playing that game since September of 19 and still haven't beaten it. I'm still finding locations I haven't even explored yet and I'm trying to do all the side quests before I even beat Ganon. I'm really excited about the sequel. The Nas style is my favorite childhood cartoon that I wasn't allowed to watch growing up but I still did on Adult Swim and it's still my favorite cartoon I can watch over and over without getting tired of it and that is Family Guy. I think this drawing was spot on with the Family Guy style and I'm happy with how it came out. I love the little chin, it's just funny to me. I know this was supposed to be a 20 art style challenge so I may continue this in a second video with the other styles I'll adore. I may do it with my main character from my webcomic next time. I hope you like the video and if you do, like, subscribe, and share with others and I'll see you next time. Bye.